Hey everyone, it's Stephanie here, and today I have a video as part of a special um, video hop to celebrate Laura Sturks reaching 7,000 subscribers on YouTube. And so today we're doing a video hop to kind of just hop along and share some different projects from different designers to help Laura celebrate this fun milestone. So for my card today, I decided to do a pretty much a one layer card, and I'm going to be using the Unforgettable stamp set from W Plus 9. I love these little elephant images. They're so cute and playful, and they really work well together in card designs. So I'm just kind of taking out the stamps and deciding where I want to place them on my card front and I'm picking out what stamps I want to include. So my idea for this card is to kind of have the um, bottom elephant there sitting in the grass and then have the other elephant floating down hanging off of a balloon. I thought it would look really cute and kind of um, having the sentiment that I'm going to be using is hi there and I thought it would be kind of cute with the elephant floating down kind of them saying hi to each other. So to start off my card, I'm going to go ahead and place my stamps into onto my paper inside my Misty stamping tool. This is just a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of white Nina Solar White cardstock, and I'm just kind of putting the elephants where I want them, and I'm going to stamp them both together. And I made sure when I um, put them onto my Misty door there that when I position them on the card front that I have enough room for that balloon to fit above the little elephant that's going to be floating down. I just want to make sure that everything is going to fit all on one piece. So I stamped the elephants first and now I've taken them off of the Misty and I've replaced them with the balloon and I figured out how I wanted to position that and then I'm going to go ahead and stamp that onto the elephant. And I'm making sure that the little string at the bottom of the balloon is going through the elephant's tail so it looks like it's hanging onto the balloon. And then I'm just going to use my acrylic block to stamp some grass pieces on the bottom there beside the elephant that's sitting. It was a lot easier just to use my block rather than trying to mount them in my Misty tool. So now that I have all of the images stamped, I'm going to go ahead and do some coloring. So I'm going to use Copic markers and I'm using all cool gray colors here. And I did one round of coloring on that first elephant with, um, I think it was C1 and you can see it was so light that you could barely even tell I was coloring him. So I went ahead and just went completely over him again with another C. I think I went with C3. And then I'm also going to go in with C5 and C7 to add some darker areas onto the elephants and really make him look shaded and more dimensional and not so flat looking. So I use my lightest color first and then I use my medium color to add some color just around the edges where I want some of the shadowing to be. And then I use my darkest color to add some darker color right on the very edges and then I'm just going to go ahead and reverse that order and blend everything out. And then once I have all of the gray done, I'm just going to use my R20 marker to go ahead and add some pink to the inside of his ears and also a little bit of pink to his cheeks just to kind of give him a little bit more character and fun. And now that I have him done, I'm going to do this exact same process with the other elephant. I'm using the same color of grays, um, but all cool ones, and I'm also using the same C3, C5, and C7. And I'm following the same process with this one. I'm starting with my lighter gray color, and then I'm going in with my medium, and then my darkest, and then I just am going to reverse those markers and go backwards and blend my darkest color out with my medium, and then my medium color out with my lightest. And this just really helps to add really great shading and dimension to these little characters and really makes them look so much more dimensional especially because this is going to be a flat one layer card so it really helps these elephants to kind of pop off the page and give them life. So for this one here I did the same with the pink. I added pink to his two ears, only one cheek since it's all you can see and I also added some pink to the bottom of his feet. And then once I have that done I'm going to go um, ahead and use the grass at the bottom. So I'm using some bright green colors. I believe I'm using Y0105 and 07 and I'm just starting with my lightest color and kind of following the stamped um, lines of the little grass pieces that I stamped beside the elephant. And then I'm just kind of letting, I'm going freehand and just kind of extending that grass out a bit so that he has a nice area to sit on. And I really like the look of this where it's not perfectly um, contained in a stamped image but the grass is kind of just freestyle and just kind of has a nice little um, uneven edge to it. So once I finish the grass, I'm going to move on to the balloon, and I'm just using some um, red colors. They're kind of a reddish corally pink color, and I started with my lightest color, and the lightest color um, I believe is R30. I think I'm using R30, 32, and 35, and just 
the R30 is a very wet um, Copic marker and there's a lot of blending solution in there to make it that lighter color so it really really wants to bleed so if you find you're using those colors just be very careful with the R30 because it definitely does bleed so you'll need to allow some drying time when you're doing your blending just so you don't have a lot of bleed through over the stamped lines. So once I finished the balloon, I went ahead with a very light uh, blue, aqua color. I think it was B000. And I just went ahead and kind of stroked that across the whole sky area just to give a faint blue look to the sky so it wasn't completely white. But I didn't want it to be super blue and take away from the elephant, so it was the perfect color. And then to put my sentiment on, I used the Chit Chat stamp set from Lawn Fawn, And I went ahead and stamped a sentiment onto Nina Solar White with a Versa fine black onyx ink and then I used the coordinating die to cut that little speech bubble out before adhering it to the card with some foam adhesive. And then before I adhere this onto the card, I wanted to add a little bit of something in between the um, gray card base and that stamped piece. So I used a piece of paper tray ink vellum. This is a striped vellum that comes in a collection pack, which are it's my favorite vellum by far for pattern paper. It's so, or for pattern vellum, sorry. It's so thick and it has really great patterns. There's polka dots and stripes and stuff. So it's a really fun um, staple to have in your stash when you want to just kind of add a little bit of something to a card but not take away from the main um, image that you have going on. So once I had the vellum in there, I adhered it all to the front of the grout gray cardstock. And I also forgot to mention that that stamped piece there is cut out with a stitched rectangle frame. So I kind of cut it down so it was smaller and I cut it right along the bottom edge of the grass. So now that I have all of it adhered and ready to go, I went ahead and put some Wink of Stella clear on my balloon. And now I'm completely filling it in with glossy accents. And I also added some sequins to the card front. And then that completes my card for today. So thank you so much for watching. A huge congratulations to Laura on this great milestone. My video is the last stop on the video hop, but you can click the screen here and it will take you back to the beginning to the first video on the hop. Thanks for watching.